Hi everyone, welcome to Faith at Home. My name is Leah. Today, I'll make my offering, show you my candle that reminds me Jesus is the light of the world. His light shines in me and it shines in you. What? There are extra candles today. And is there something else different? Purple hair? Miss Leah doesn't have purple hair. Why do I have purple hair and extra candles? Well, it's because we're celebrating Halloween and All Saints Day. Have you celebrated Halloween? Did you wear a costume? Did you get any treats? Hmm. Well, Halloween is a combination of Celtic, Roman, and Christian traditions, and it's celebrated on October 31st. All Saints Day is a day in the church that we celebrate on or around November 1st, the day after Halloween. And we remember and honor people who have died. And at Nativity, we light candles to remember our loved ones who have died. But All Saints Day isn't just about those who have died, it's about all of us. We call God's people saints, not because we're perfect, but because God loves us perfectly something to share with you. I went on a walk in my neighborhood a couple days ago and I picked up some leaves that caught my attention. Look at this one. It's a dark reddish brown with little bits of green and yellow. The edges are starting to curl in but isn't it beautiful? And look at these. It looks like watercolor to me the yellow spreading out in the middle of the leaf. None of these is perfect, and every single one is unique, just like people. I really love these three cottonwood leaves because they also show me how science is at work in God's amazing world. In the fall, chlorophyll, that's what makes leaves green. Chlorophyll gets pulled, broken down and pulled into the twigs in the tree trunk. When the green color of chlorophyll is gone, the other colors like brown, red, orange, and yellow are unmasked. Then the leaves fall off to conserve water and survive the long winter. Even when a tree looks dead and bare, we can remember what it looked like in the spring. And just as we know the tree will be green again, we know we'll have new life in Jesus. We will live forever in heaven with God. Today that makes me feel comforted knowing that my loved ones that have died are in heaven with God and someday I'll be there too. But other days I feel uncertain or sad, or I feel angry, and that's okay too. And today, I would like to light candles to remember all the generations of people that God loves. Even though we die, we're alive forever in the hearts of our loved ones and in the heart of God, who created and loves everyone. Let us pray. God, thank you for all the saints. We pray for the people who lived before us and the people who were born after us. Help us remember that we are part of a big human family and that there's enough love for all of us. God, thank you for the caretakers. We pray for the people who worked really hard this year to help others. Bless those who heal, feed, protect, serve, and teach. Help leaders make good choices about what happens in the future so everyone can live well. Bless those who feel forgotten or scared and give them peace. 
God, we pray for the people who feel sad because sometimes they love died this year. We pray for those who work in hospitals or nursing homes and they couldn't save every patient. We pray for people who have said goodbye to family members. Bless those who are lonely and grieving. God, we pray that your church would be brave. We believe death is not the end and there's more life still to come. Give us courage and creativity to move forward into a new year with your wisdom and a commitment to the truth about what matters. Show us how to love the world the way it needs to be loved right now. God, we thank you for being merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. While we can't understand the mysteries of your kingdom, we can trust that it is bigger and more beautiful than anything we could imagine. That gives us good hope to keep practicing forgiveness and joy in everything we do. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus, who died and rose again, and who loves us all, now and all the way, into everlasting life.